continuation of work and energy, rate of doing work. See, do all of us work at the same rate? Do you think like? Or do machines consume or transfer energy at the same rate? The agents that transfer energy do work at different rates. Power, which is nothing but the rate of doing work. As we know, let us understand this from the following activity. Consider two children, say A and B. Let us say they weigh the same. Both start climbing up a row separately. Both reach a height of 8 meter. Let us say A takes 15 seconds while B takes 20 seconds to accomplish the task. What is the work done by each? Now, we have to consider each child weighs 50 kilogram. Now, we can take the work done by A, which is W1, which is equal to MGH. So, the mass 50 kilogram and the the gravity we can take a rounding of it uh, from the 9.8 to 10 and the height 8 okay 8 meter so by simplify this we got 4000 joule now for that b the child b work done by b which is equal to w2 we have taken the formula is mgh it is the same mgh that is mass gravity and height everything same so 4000 joule so, work done by child A and work down by child B. Both the same. Right. Now, the question is, work done is the same. However, A has taken less time than B to do the work. And who has done more work in a given time? For example, 1 second. We, we can take for them 1 second. Now, work done by, per unit time, which is nothing but power. That is the definition for power. So, power which is equal to W by T. For first child, we can take, that is child A, we can take P1, which is equal to W1 by T1, which is equal to 4000 Joule by 15 seconds. We got simplified 266. And work done per unit time by the child B. For the power P2 which is equal to W2 by T2. So by applying this 4000 Joule by 20 seconds he taken. 200 what? Now we can understand that P1 is greater than P2. So the power of the child A is more than the power of child P. So the power we already said the statement. Is defined as the rate of doing work or the rate of transfer of energy. If an agent does a work W in time T, then power is P, that is power which is equal to work by time. Or we can say P which is equal to W by T. The unit of power is what? That is only we have seen through this example, work done per unit time. So, the work done per unit time is what? Child A, which is equal to P1, which is equal to W1 by T1. So, this is the formula we apply here. So, the first child uh, work done is 4000. Time is taken 15 seconds. So, he got 266.7 watt. So, this is only we have tell here that is power which is equal to work by time. And the SI unit of power is watt. Now, 1 watt, which we can say that 1 joule by second. That means 1 watt, which is equal to 1 joule, second power minus 1 we can take. See, we express the large rates of energy transfer, we can call it as kilowatts. Right. So, 1 kilowatt, which is equal to what we can say? Yes, 1000 watts. So, 1 kilowatt which is equal to 1000 watt or we can say 1000 joule per second or joule second power minus 1. And the commercial unit of energy. The unit joule is too small and hence is 
inconvenient to express large quantities of energy. We use a bigger unit of energy which is called kilowatt as we seen before that formula, right? The kilowatt which is equal to 1000 watts. Yes. So, what is 1 kilowatt? Let us say I have a machine that uses 1000 joule of energy every second. If this machine is used continuously for 1 hour, we can say it consumes 1 kilowatt of energy. Have you all understood? So, 1 kilowatt is the energy used in 1 hour at the rate of 1000 joule per second or we can say 1 kilowatt. So, 1 kilowatt used in 1 hour, we can say that 1000 watt into 3600 seconds. So, 36000. So, 36 lakhs joule or we can say 3.6 into 10 power 6 joule. The energy used in households, industries, and commercial establishment are usually expressed in kilowatt hour. For example, electrical energy used during a month is expressed in the terms of units. In, in our home, they are asking the unit. What is the unit today we consumed? You may go and check for how much units you are consuming in your home per day. You can calculate it, right? Here we are saying 1 unit which means 1 kilowatt hour. See we can say, we can see one example for that. An electric bulb of 60 watt is used for 6 hours per day. Calculate the units of energy consumed in 1 day by the bulb. The power of electric bulb is what we have given? 60 watts. We have to take it in the kilowatts. So 0 0.06 kilowatt. The time used, time which is equal to 6 hours. So, kilowatt hour, we don't want to change anything. 6 hour they have given. The energy which is equal to what is the formula? Power into time. So, 0 0.06 kilowatt into 6 hours. So, we got 0 0.36 kilowatt hours or we can say the kilowatt which means unit. So, 0 0.36 units. So, the energy consumed by the bulb is 0 0.36 units. Got it children? Thank you students.